hii hospitali ya Naivasha imekuwa na shida mingi. Si miezi mingi imeisha, mwendo wazimu walitoka huko town na anakuja kupiga watu risasi hapa. It will not be accepted anymore for people to come here to threaten patients and threaten our staff. Haitakubalika tena. We have come to learn. Kuna mtu ambaye ameajiriwa na mwanasiasa anakaa kwa gate hii hospitali, any critical case yenye inaingia kwa hospitali anaingia nayo. Na hata familia walikuwa natuambia sisi tulishangaa hii maneno imetoka wapi. So haitakubalika tena. And these are warning to all politicians, hospitali zetu will not be a zone of insecurity. It is unacceptable. Kwamba mtu anakuja kwa hospitali na bunduki kutreaten madaktari wetu na nurses, haitakubalika tena. Kwamba watu anakuja kuokolewa maisha hapa, wanasiasa wameka watu kwa gate, ndiyo wa, 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 wakuje kuona venye itaendelea ikienda vibaya, wanze kufanya siyasa. It's unacceptable na itakubalika. Ile budget ilitumika kwa wajiri 2018, nienye governor wetu Susan Kika akiwa speaker aliacha ame approve. Kwa hivyo wana siyasa walikuwa na nafasi yao miaka tano hawako wajiri mtu ya yote. Hata hilo walitumia 2020 ni ya retirees. Hizi shida ziko kwa hospitali sahi ya shortage, it was a creation of those same politicians ambao wanajaribu kuja kuwaribu. Hawa wana siyasa miaka tano wako ikanyanga kwa hii hospitali. Saini wanakuja kuwaribu wafia wananchi kwa nini. Kuna hospitali nyingi sana zimejengwa na zinahitaji kuwekwa madaktari. Zile hospitali ziko mnasikia from 2015 sahi wafanyakazi wafia wamepungua wanahitaji kuongezewa sababu kiangalia kama walipungua by the time governor alikuwa anaingia si ilikuwa ni shida so na kitu kingine mjua kwamba budget sheria inasema budget ya employment ikuwe 35% sasa hii tuko around 37% kwa hivyo wakati watu wakiajiriwa these essential workers pia watu wasianze kusema audit query because wao na siasa wamezoea wataki wananchi wapoe service tena wanaanza ku complain so employment kitokea na governor ameanza hiyo process ya employment nafikiri mtaona very soon Watu wasianze kusema ya kwamba eh, audit query itaendelea kwamba tumeajiri watu wengi wafanyakazi wa afya lazima ongezewe ili maneno ishe. Ile pesa inahitajikana ya equipping. Kwa hizi hospitali zote nafikiri mmesikia governor akisema ni 3 billion. Kujenga ijachukua hata 2 billion. Ni kama maybe hapo tuseme kitu kama hiyo. Building a, ex, eh, operationalizing a hospital is more expensive than building. Kwamba ukijenga kazi mingi iko kwa kuweka equipment kuweka staff na kuanza kufanya kazi. Kwa ile ile mlima governor ako nayo ni kubwa sana sababu hospitali zilijengwa zikaachwa bila budget. Zingine ziliabandonwa 2 years kabla governor ingie. Sasa hii lazima amalize hizo hospitali zote, equip na aweze kuzioperationalize. Kwa hiyo nitaambia watu yetu wanakuru wajitunge na wana siasa. Wana siasa ambao wana celebrate when such an incident happens, such an unfortunate incident happens. Kwamba bala wende waambie familia pole wanapiga celebration at sababu watafanya siasa hii itakubalika tena na wakijaribu kuingia hapa tena kwa hii hospitali kufanyia siasa watakutana hatutakubali hiyo maneno so nimekuja hapa and the hospital management wa wametuelezea penye ile happened kila kitu so tumeongea kutoka hata hospital yenye ilifaa mtoto hapa na wametuelezea venye mtoto alikuwa venye alikuwa amekonjeka Uh, alikuwa na shida ya kifua kupumua and uh, kuna vitu hatukwa tumeelewa kama familia venye hiyo maneno ya mtoto ilikuwa so so politicians have taken this thing in a, the other way wameanza kupoliticize kusema sijui nini sijui nini and for us as family tulikuwa tu tunataka kujua kiini cha mtoto wetu kukufa ambacho hatukwa tumeelezewa hapo mbeleni hatukujua mtoto wetu amekufa kwa nini So we have come here and the hospital management wametuelezea kila kitu and for now as family tumetosheka. Kuna shida ya pneumonia, kifua yake ilikuwa na shida and na pia mtoto alikuwa dehydrated. So mtoto dio akakufa. Tumekuja hapa kwa sababu tulitaka kufanya fact finding. Ndiposa tulikuwa na wazazi wa mtoto aliaga, tukawa na management na tukawa na executive kama MCAs wa area hii ya Naivasha so that tuweze ku dig what really transpired na baada ya ku interrogate pande zote tatu tumeelezewa na daktari na tukaenda pahali mtoto alitoka kabila awe rifada hapa na tukasikia hiyo kesi tumesema ya kwamba hiyo hospitali ni yetu na ndiposa tumeita executive ili tuje tuangalie shida iko wapi pale ambapo kuna shida tutatue ni to protect our facility kwa sababu ni yetu na tuangalie ile mambo ina, inaenda vibaya vibaya tuweze kusuluhisha kwa hivyo sisi tumeambia wanasiasa sisi tumetosha 
na kwa sababu wanasiasa wengine ukubuke pesa za NHF haikuji tukiangalia pesa za Lida Mama haikuji badala ya watu wafanye hiyo mambo waulizie hayo mambo E, na wametumwa kufanya hivyo kwa senate na kadhalika uwezi kuja kufanya sisi hatutaki catwalking na hatutaki ati mtu afanye ati ni nini hapa kwa hivyo sisi tumekuja kwa sababu we want to start with our hospital we want to make sure that the facilities ziko na ile mambo yote ambayo iko kwa hivyo diposa na hospitali ni kawaida mgonjwa kama amekuja lazima anatibiwa hata kama shote jiko na tunafurahi sababu hata gaba na wetu sahi alitupatia hadi nyingi sana na ni kweli zimeanza kuwa fulfilled na tunajua sababu tumeendelea kuengage hata jana tulikuwa tunengage the, the department ya health tunaongea tu mambo ya shortage na hiyo yote sababu ameahidi tunajua yote itafanyika sababu hospitali kama ile structure imejengwa pale hata kama the, the other initial government which was there kama tuliachukua mambo vile inatakikana pengine leo tungeakuwa hapa tungeakuwa na wauguzi wa kutosha ile structure ingekuwa inafanya kazi na kila mtu ambaye yako na ivasha angekuwa akijifurahisha akiwa ati yako na ivasha. Kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba wanasiasa ambao tuko nao, sai MCs, wote MPs, ile kitu tungekuwa tukipiga siasa ni wasaidie eh, ha excellence the governor. Wakati wame, wako pale kwa assembly, wajali kumsaidia kupitisha budget ya kutosha ili naye aweze kuongeza wauguzi, aweze kupata equipment za hospitali, aweze kupata madawa na hii shida zote tutakuwa tumemaliza wauguzi wa ambao tuko nao tunajua wanafanya kazi kwa njia ya kujitolea shortage iko ni kubwa sana kwa hivyo kwa kitoleo nje tena wa peer pressure za nje si hata huyu mtu ata wanachukua kamba wanachochukua poison enda kukunywa otherwise tujadi kusaidiana